Hello everyone. Happy holidays. It is getting close to the end of the year, right after oh, no. Christmas weekend. So this is going to be our last big pickups video yes. for this year. Forever. Yep, we have a few things that have come that we've held off on showing and some few thrift store finds and then of course Christmas presents from this weekend, that kind of stuff. So a bunch of stuff to go through. Uh, if you watched the video I put up probably right before this, I'm assuming, I talked about the Star Trek wine, things like that, and beautiful canards empty now from yesterday. For, for Christmas was not so lovely. What? Oh, you didn't like it. Yeah, you didn't like I it. You took like a like sip. It. Yeah, you took a sip. And who drank all of it? You took a sip. Your dad took a sip, and I drank the bottle. <laughs> you drank a, the bottle very quickly. It was a merry Christmas. It in was like, a merry in like Christmas. In like half an hour. Uh, so I guess this is right in front of me. So we'll start with this. My mom actually found at a library book sale a little while ago, and she, you know, didn't have a chance to give it to me until Christmas time. But she found a few seasons of Deep Space Nine the older, bigger fold-out releases, which we have the, the whole set for that you got me like years ago for Christmas. Season 2, 6, and 7. That was a really good find because you don't run into them a lot anymore. And then I guess, maybe we'll do these video games first as we okay. brought them through. Um, and I just started, Amanda got me Yoshi's Crafted World, the Switch, she got me that for Christmas. And I started playing that a little bit yesterday morning, and I love it so far, because I really enjoyed, if you watched our video game uh, top ten for the year, this year I played on the Wii U, the Wooly World, I really enjoyed that. So I'm very happy to get Crafted World. And it sounds very similar. Yeah, yeah. It looks pretty exciting. Yeah. I might play that. We also got Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. Rare! This is super rare. <laughs> but I'm excited. I want to play this with you. Yes, I think it'll I be think fun to play. I think this is going to be. Yeah. This is going to be really fun. Let us know if you've played this. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to play this. Yeah, I'm excited Some that it nostalgia. looks like it's true to the old ones, but we still have it on PS1 and Dreamcast, uh, so it'd be cool to play that version. And um, also, if you watch that video, you know I played Yakuza 0 this Did year. Did you? And just a couple loved, hours? Loved that, and I have just the, you know, the first two on PS2, so in our journey on the PS4, pick up the steelbook of the remake of the first one. Yes. This will be the next thing with I have to play. With the slipcover. Yeah, with a nice slipcover. A really, really beautiful release. I like that. That'll be the next thing I play after Yoshi. Because this year it does I'm gonna, sound like the same thing. Yeah, Yoshi this year I'm gonna play through all the Yakuza games. That and we were able to get really cheap uh, number six, the Song of Life with the little miniature art book. So that was really cool. So just have a few more to get to complete that series. Uh, then Amanda also got me. This is interesting from Annie the Musical, but it's like old school looking. When she's Annie creepy. logo. She doesn't have eyeballs. Because <laughs> I really like Annie, particularly the '80s movie. You know, uh, a couple cups that. like that. Those like. Yeah, these themed ones. Like I have uh, like a TV guide one that has old TV guide covers and looks really cool. That kind of stuff. So I guess some more from your side here. So I got this beautiful figurine of one of my favorite people. Mm -hmm. It's Deadpool, and he's riding a unicorn. It's, it's this is PG though. This isn't the. <laughs> the unicorn from the first day. But he's so cute. And it's such a cute little little figurine. He's got his little thing. He's, he's majestic. Mm -hmm. He's lovely. Is it? I don't know what. What? QMX Online. Oh, I don't know. Brand or whatever? I don't or know. Brand? But it's pretty. So we got that. He looks fragile, but he's not fragile. Yeah, I figured I can go near your God of War. It's the same thing. Same Kratos, thing. Deadpool, mm -hmm. unicorns. It's lovely. Uh, we got a bunch of DVDs as well. Uh, I got from my in-laws uh, Home Improvement seasons two and three. I've already watched an episode. Yeah, we opened this one up this morning and watched a little bit. Yes, between a husband and wife. Very appropriate. <laughs> but yeah, that's a favorite from the 90s as we were growing up. And I got something that you need to watch. This is season five. Mm -hmm. Of Rick and Morty, yeah. which is such a great show. I love Rick and Morty. Rick just makes me laugh. I love him so much. Yeah, I know. I think I think you had me watch. I think I'm caught up. I think you made me watch the. You one haven't through seen four. this. Well, no, I've seven. seen any of this because this I pre-ordered this one for you, but yes. no, I haven't seen that. And I also got. I haven't seen this yet, but I'm excited to mm -hmm. see this. We were going to see it in theaters, but we did not. Yeah. And we saw Spider-Man instead, which I feel like. Yeah. That was a good. Good. Back to the movie theaters movie. We saw Free Guy. Well, we have Free Guy. Yeah, no, I saw it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm and, excited to see that. Yeah, no, I'll watch it with you. 
<laughs> I'm not really interested in it, but I'll watch it with you. I don't know why you're not I'll interested in it. I'll watch it with it. you. Uh, we got a stack of movies from my mom. She's been doing lately. She's had this thing where she's been giving us like some of her favorite movies on you know, DVD. The Lady and the Tramp. Never seen that before. <laughs> she's being sarcastic, in case you can't tell. Some people have a hard time with that. Uh, Gone with the Wind. I actually have that. You have not, that I know you haven't seen. Uh, Rudolph Red Nosed Reindeer. Christmas Classic. Jungle Book. Jungle Book. 40th Anniversary. What is that? And oh. Labyrinth. And then Beautiful. Amanda's dad got me Battlestar Galactica Blood and Chrome on DVD. And then I guess do we have any more? Oh, uh, yeah, your, your, oh. your box set. Yeah. Yes, I got All in the Family, the complete series. Yep. So it's all, I don't know how many seasons it's that is. It's nine, isn't it? Nine. Nine, yeah. Plus a bonus disc from Shout Factory. Mm -hmm. So that's that's exciting. I know Stefan loves that. Yep. So that'll be fun. Yep, that'll be good to watch together. And it's nice this release, too, that you got, too, because it's, it's so much smaller. Shout they put, Factory. You know, yeah, because all nine seasons, just a handful of cases. Wow. And then this was pretty cool. Got this Lucy Show lunchbox from Echo Bridge, and with a surprise inside. Stefan's eyes got very so wide. Yeah, because I opened he this was up, so happy. and this was my sister and I were looking on Etsy at some stuff around like Thanksgiving time. We were together, and my mom was there, and she ended up like you know, seeing what we were looking at and stuff, and got me from from somebody on Etsy this Elizabeth Montgomery T-shirt. This is awesome. Now your your video is going to be blocked. <laughs> It's not child appropriate. Uh, nothing wrong with, some, with Sam. She's child appropriate. And then also these fridge magnets. You go along with that. So now every time I open these the fridge, awesome. I'm going to see her. Yeah, you got to see some bewitched every time you go to the fridge. Absolutely. There's Andorra. You like Andorra. I like Andorra a lot. There's Sam. That's from the opening. They're pretty hefty, too. Yeah, they're really nice. And my favorite, we got Serena. I like that one. But that was a cool surprise inside the, the Lucy lunchbox. And I got a bunch of other t-shirts. Actually, I really have to go through my t-shirts this week, I think, because I have so have many themed t-shirts. Yeah, I have a lot of older ones I have to get rid of, but yeah, people give me themed t-shirts all the time. Between, yes, like, you, you have... and relatives, like, constantly. Every year, I think you I get, You have, like, like, a pile, like, this big that he got of t-shirts this, yeah, this Christmas. Yeah, like, so. tons, like, every year. So I have to go through some old ones, get rid of some old ones. And the other thing was some books. One was a thrift store find, um, I Love Lucy. And then for Christmas, I got a I'm excited to read nice those. collection. Yeah, I think we're both going to read these this year. I think you'll see, you'll see these again um, as the next year rolls around. But James Randi fantastic you hadn't you hadn't heard of him before we watched the documentary I've never right? heard of him because I've been watching for years his um, his talks that he old we used to do at colleges all the time and these nice presentations and like his his, his um, different shows that he used to have so I've always followed James Randi thought it was awesome got a collection of three books and you know we watched the yeah the honest uh, what is the honest liar is that what it is the documentary so. so that was really cool I'm very excited to read these as well and you got one for my mom as well. Yes, book. I got, it's called Anxious People. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's trying to say, <laughs> but she gives me, she usually will give me a book or two that she enjoyed reading. She has a book yep. club. So yep. This is one of the ones she gave me, so mm -hmm. I'll have to check that out. And one of the ones she gave you last year was on your that book. That was the Midnight Library. Yeah, yep. yeah your, book, your book list is here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a combination of some thrift store finds and some you know, orders that have come through in the past. Uh, one was a replacement for one that showed up completely destroyed That was last time. annihilated. It completely like, crushed, but a uh, replacement copy came for my special like gold edition from Italy of Gilda, Rita Hayworth. You just have to have something different, don't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, because you can get a very, a very simple copy of Gilda. Be, you just have but to be is this one, and so my replacement copy came just like last week, because uh, it was destroyed when it came annihilated so my replacement for that showed up and then from the warner archive uh this is the one you were talking about when you mentioned in the video about you know carrie grant saying something with marina loy that joke yes uh but yeah mr blinings builds his dream house so you saw me watching that with a whole bunch of extra Blu -ray. features which is nice yeah. warner archive good just what we need more blu-rays for the right just never the video next month and then we have Beggars of Life, which is my favorite Louise Brooks movies, and it's one of her first, if not her first, American movies. I'm Louise Brooks. Yeah, that's the one I think you always look like, see? That's a boy. But, well, she's dressed as a boy. There, 
Yeah. Once I was dressed as a boy. Yeah. But Beggars of Life. So, great. Really enjoy that movie. And we found at thrift stores a couple copies of Star that? Wars. The older CBS VHS. Fox. VHS. Yeah, I love, love VHS. VHS. Uh, they couldn't find Star Wars, but they had Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Ugh, I'm missing the best one. And did not have nice, clean copies with, like, good covers of the CBS Fox releases. So that was really cool. And one beta. What? Very exciting to add a beta to the collection. I love that format, but it's gone. Like, from this area, some areas I think are different. People can we run into, like... We found it, like, two or three times we found a bunch. And over was... years. And That's I know some places they can find old, like, used beta tapes, or even, like, pre-recorded ones, like, a regular basis. And never Never here. Either. It's just gone. So it's really cool to have one, and it's one of my favorite movies to have and have not. This is, I think, one of the top two uh, Bogey and Bacall movies. This one and Key Largo together, so... It annoys me, though, that really it's cool. just, like... A VHS case that they put a sticker on. Yeah, with a little bit extra. Because that's, you know, it's interesting because a lot of our older betas, like, uh, have, like, the shorter the case. case. They're yeah. actually for, and then, but after a while, a lot of them, it's just, they just uh, altered v, yeah, an altered VHS. Yeah, an altered VHS case, the beta sticker kind of thing, but fantastic. So, that is it for our last big pickups video of the year. Well, I might be back one time before the end of the year with, like, a thrift store thing. If I, you know, go this week, we'll see what happens. But Maybe not, but we're going to yeah. have this is coming yeah. up. Yeah, <coughs> look forward to that in January. I'm not looking forward to it. Because last year, <laughs> this is gonna we, be did, we did two years in our right? This will be our third year. I believe I think so. it's our third year. We did our entire Blu-ray collection and the PS4 and Switch because those are the more like current formats. So we've been doing that. and Modern. Yeah, this, this year will be something. This was the biggest year ever. I just can't believe a couple years ago we had like this many Blu-rays mm -hmm. and now. Yeah. Done. What have so, you done? Look forward to that. That is going to be lengthy. It might be split into parts even. I don't know. We'll see how long it is. <laughs> I might be another but, year older by the time we're done. But look forward to that. Hope you guys have a great end of the year and a good start to the next.